Yes, I think diagnosis um, is a little bit of a journey, um, primarily because Rett syndrome is a rare disorder and a lot of, a lot of doctors are just not familiar with it. Um, but they, it is becoming more well-known and, and diagnoses are becoming um, easier. Um, there is a clinical diagnosis for Rett syndrome based on the presentation of symptoms in the medical history uh, of the individual. However, um, because we know the genetic cause of Rett syndrome, mutations or, or disruptions in the MECP2 gene, um, pretty much if you have an MECP2 mutation, you're going to be diagnosed with Rett syndrome. Um, MECP2 mutations have been um, uh, found in over 95% of cases uh, uh, in general. Um, but there is a clinical presentation and um, individual or uh, physicians will, will typically diagnose Rett syndrome based on the revised diagnostic criteria, which came out in 2010 uh, by Dr. Jeff Newell and, and his colleagues. So it's typically, it has typically been a clinical diagnosis, but as genetic testing is becoming more and more prevalent and it's occurring earlier and earlier, um, oftentimes an MECP2 mutation will be identified in an individual prior to um, any of the hallmark symptoms of Rett syndrome. So that paradigm may be shifting to where MECP2 uh, mutations may be driving the diagnosis more than the clinical presentation.